employers and trade union representatives held a dinner at Grosvenor House to celebrate a national agreement in the cinema industry, the result of long but friendly negotiations. The president of the Cinematograph Exhibitors Association and Mr. J. Arthur Rank were two of the speakers, and the occasion was distinguished by the presence of MPs and no less than three cabinet ministers. Mr. Isaacs, Minister of Labour, Mr. Tom Williams, Minister of Agriculture, and Mr. Herbert Morrison, who took the opportunity to state his faith regarding political propaganda on the screen. The public streams of our country are not a proper medium for sectional and party propaganda. It would be quite wrong to ask exhibitors or technicians to mix themselves up with politics in that way. There is a time and place for political controversy, and I enjoy it as much as anybody else. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Churchill and I have our regular Thursday performance. <laughs> <laughs> but um, le let us keep the general public cinemas out of it. Let's keep the House of Commons in it, but the cinemas out. It isn't the cinema's job, and it is not the business of the government to presume on your goodwill for such purposes. The Lord President of the Council also delivered some important views on industrial responsibilities. We are moving into a period when our greatest need is the effort of our men and women, realizing that employment begets employment and that no section of the community can keep its prosperity at the expense of the others, and that managers and men each have their unavoidable responsibilities to themselves, to each other, and above all, to the public, which both management and work people serve. It is the duty of the employers and the unions to take care of John Bull, as well as taking care of themselves. There is no point in one section, either of the employers or of the workers, damaging the rest by selfish agreements which ignore the interests of the broad masses of the people. <laughs>